Welcome. This is the Algebra 1 end of course practice test number 3. Question number 20. I forgot there's three of these things. Anyway, on a science test, so Susan's score was 12 more than two times Jennifer's score. So I'm going to put a J in for Jennifer's score. And we'll say that Susan's score is represented with an S. So I'm going to say that Susan's score is 12 more than two times Jennifer's score. So 2 times j plus 12 more is what Susan's score happens to be. The sum of Susan's and Jennifer's scores is 78. Sum is the mathematical term for addition. So j plus s is equal to 78. How much did Jennifer score? Now, the cool thing about this is actually I, I can actually plug in um, some numbers here and see if I can get answers that work in both situations. What I'm really going to do first is just try to do it as a system. In order to do it as a system, I need to move the j over here. So I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to subtract 2j from both sides and I end up with my standard form of negative 2j plus s is equal to 12. So instead of what I had before, I'm going to do this. Negative 2j plus s is equal to 12. And from here, there's tons of ways I can solve a system. I can do elimination, which is probably what I'm going to do. Um, I can do a matrix. I might do that one as well. Or I could do um, substitution you could graph them if you want. Either way, they have the two variables. You can do it however you best see fit. What I'm going to do instead, uh, or just what I'm going to choose to do anyway, is I'm going to uh, do elimination. So I'm going to get rid of my s terms. In order to do that, one has to be plus and the other has to be minus. So I'm going to change the signs on these. Uh, so times negative 1 becomes negative j minus s equals negative 78. That's supposed to be parentheses there. And I'll just pull this number, uh, this set over here. These cancel. Uh, negative 2j and minus 1j would be negative 3j. Negative 78 plus 12 makes for negative 66. So uh, then I just divide both sides by negative 3. And I get a j value of... 22. That's Jennifer's score. Uh, but that's really all I needed to do in that problem. So my answer to that one would be A for number 20. What else I could do if I didn't want to do that is work a little matrix action. So I'm going to bring this up. Not the one with Neo like the other style. So I'm still going to need uh, this general setup right here. I'm going to try to erase the stuff that's over my calculator. I was thinking about what I was going to do. That was the stutter there. So here we go as far as that's concerned. I'm going to go and turn this thing on, clear it out, and I'm going to put in a matrix. I'm going to put it in. Uh, I'm going to edit this. It's going to be a 2 by 3 matrix because there's two equations and it's got three terms. So I'm just going to type in what it was originally before I even did the multiplication. So negative 2. Uh, there's a 1 in front of the S even though it's not shown. 12 and then 1j, 1s gave me 78. So now that I have this, I can go ahead and solve this system. I'm going to quit out. I'm going to go to the matrix menu again, but this time I'm going to do some math. I'm going to turn it into reduced row echelon form, which for me is in front of, is behind the B in this list of math in matrix. It's RREF. That's reduced row echelon form. I'm going to hit that, and then I just need to tell it what matrix I wanted it to do it with. Well, we only have one made, so I'm going to use that one. Why would I bother making it otherwise? And I'm going to hit Enter. Well, I know that Jennifer's score would be the first thing I plugged in, so the first variable is represented by this line with the 1 in that spot. Uh, Susan's score, incidentally, would be represented by the fact that there's a 1 here, so its value would be 56. Uh, S, uh, Susan's here is 22, or Jennifer's is 22, I'm sorry, so you can still see that it's 22. If, like, kind of a worst comes worst, or worst becomes worst scenario occurs, I suppose you could just try plugging things in to see if you could make them true in both cases. So, let me clear all this out. I was going to try to do it, uh, the uh, erasing individually, that didn't work. We're still going to have to go with the fact that Susan's score is 12 more than 2 times Jennifer's, 
plus 12, or 12 more than 2 times 10 to the first. And then we have to have s plus j is equal to 78. Now, what I could do here is try uh, plugging in numbers for Susan or for Jennifer's score. So I just subtract 22 here. So it's 56. I'm just going to make sure it works up here. So 56 is equal to 2 times my guess that it's 22 plus 12, 44 plus 12 does equal 56. So I can say, yeah, it's this one. And you could try plugging in the other ones if it didn't work to get the right answer. But my suggestion, just make a systems and do either matrices or elimination or substitution or graphing, whatever you just happen to love the most.